Investigators are trying to determine the motive for the shooting. The suspect, as you know, is Dwayne Craddock. He's a 40-year-old engineer and a 15-year employee of Virginia Beach. He had submitted a resignation email the day of the attack. Errol Barnett is outside the crime scene. Errol, what else do you know about this resignation? Well, we know that one of the deceased victims was in the suspect's chain of command, but was not his direct supervisor. So that could be a clue now as investigators try to determine uh, if the gunman's job status had anything to do with what unfolded in building two directly behind me. He was not terminated and he was not in the process of being terminated. Officials have not said what the suspect's resignation contained, only that his job performance was satisfactory. He was uh, uh, in good standing within his department. Reports of gunfire first came in at 4.08 p.m. Friday. Shot fired, shot fired, second floor. He's going up the steps. Two minutes later, officers arrived from police headquarters nearby. I got a male down on the third floor. Navigating a building police described as a honeycomb, police eventually found the suspect eight minutes later, who discharged rounds well into the double digits in a prolonged gun battle. At 419, one officer was shot, saved by his bulletproof vest. Once cornered, the gunman exchanged fire with police through a door. Then, silence. Officers entered and administered first aid, but the suspect died later at the hospital. Police recovered two 45 caliber handguns, one equipped with extended magazines and a silencer. More weapons were found at the shooter's home, all legally obtained. Have the suspect's family and relatives been uh, in communication with you guys? Our team of detectives are out interviewing everyone. The suspect's family did not return our request for comment and posted this message on their front door. The Craddocks say they are grieving for their loved ones, sending condolences to victims. Sunday morning, each of the 12 victims could be seen in the Craddock driveway, staring back on the front page of the newspaper. Now, as we mentioned, all of the suspect's weapons were legally obtained, and that includes the silencer or what's known as a suppressor. Last night, President Trump was asked if he thinks those silencers should be restricted. And while he didn't answer that question directly, he did say, quote, I don't like them at all. Tony. Errol, thank you very much. The story so disturbing on so many levels because yep. it keeps happening, happening, happening. But w one thing that stands out to me, they keep saying this guy was well-liked, well-known. Yep. Nobody had any idea that he was harboring this kind of thing. This is what scares me. Fine. Yeah. He's doing very well on the fired. job. Yeah. That's mean, what scares me, guys. How do we protect ourselves? You can't, and you, you don't know what's going you, you can't? It's inexplicable. Yeah, is the it is. And you may not ever get an answer for it. It is that's, the word for it. That's the trouble. All and right. no answer that would ever make sense, even if you get the answer. That's yeah. right.